there, Sydney. It's time you came to terms with me and with Mother. Maybe you never knew her at all, Sydney. Maybe you just can't get past the surface of things. Who the hell are you? The other half of you. I searched for a mother, too. An actress named Rena Reynolds. Tried to find her my whole life. And four years ago, I actually dragged her down. Knocked at her door, thinking she'd welcome me with open arms. But she had a new life and a new name. Maureen Prescott. You were the only child she claimed, Sydney. She shut me out in the cold forever. Her own son. Roman Bridger, director. And brother. She slammed the door in my face, said she said I was Rena's child and Rena was dead. And it struck me. What a good idea. So I watched her. I made a little home movie, a little, little family film. It seems Maureen, Mom, she really got around. I mean, cotton was one thing. Everybody knew about that. But Billy's father, that was the key. Your boyfriend didn't like seeing his daddy in my film too much. He didn't like it at all. But once I supplied the motivation, all the kid needed was a few pointers. Have a partner to sell out in case you get caught, find someone to frame. It was like he was making a movie. You. This is all because of you. A director, Sid. A direct. I had no idea that they were going to make a film of their own. What a film it turned out to be, huh? I mean, introducing Sydney the victim, Sydney the survivor, Sydney the star! Apply pressure. Yeah, take this. Get this son of a bitch. Fine, you got what you wanted. Hero and villain face to face. Well, you know what happens now? The villain dies. Exactly. But I'm not the villain, Sid. You are. Here he is. The man who gave away your mother's innocence. Huh? Mm. What he did to her made her a slut, didn't it? Huh? She never recovered from that night right here in this room. They fucked her three ways from Sunday. Ruined her life. Ruined yours too, didn't it, Sid? You hate him, Sid? Come on, I know you do. I'm sure you do. I know who you are. I know what happened to my mother, and I want you to understand. I'm gonna make you pay. That's what the police are gonna find in Milton's answering machine, right next to his lifeless, mutilated corpse. Mm. Mm. What? Can't hear you. You don't have to do this, Roman. Just... Tell me what you want, I can make it happen. Any picture, name your budget, script approval, final cut! I already have it. <laughs> ah! Die! Violence bastard! No, Sid, that would be you. You did it all. You did it. You killed them all, even your closest friends. Living in total isolation, the pressure of another movie about you, the discovery that Milton destroyed Mommy Dearest. You finally just snapped! Two, three. And who's our hero, huh? The sole survivor. Who's the one who bravely faced down the psychopath and killed her with her own knife? You're gonna pay for the life you stole from me, Sid. For the mother, and for the family, and for the stardom, and God damn it, everything you had that should have been mine! God, why don't you stop your whining and get on with it? I've heard this shit before! Stop! You know why you kill people, Roman, do you? Don't want to hear it! Because you choose to! There is no one else to blame! Damn it! Fucking damn it! Why don't you take some fucking responsibility? Fuck you! Fuck you!
Cindy! Lose something. Found something. There's nothing you can do about that. 